As an Amazon FBA sell, there, there is things that you have to know before you start and sell something on it. What is very important for you is to figure out the profit margin you're going to make when you're going to be selling a product as an Amazon FBA sell. What you have to do is to press on FBA revenue calculator. When you press on that, it's going to give you a whole ability to calculate how much money it's going to cost for you to ship this particular item either by yourself or to ship this item uh, using your own method. So it's either you're shipping it with Amazon Fulfillment or you're selling this yourself. Now, it, there is a menu here that come, comes up and it lets you pick an item that you want and find out a few basic things about. So we're going to be using a vintage camera. Uh, we have other things um, too that we can use. So we're just going to use this as an example here. Let's say for example that you went to Amazon um, warehouse and you're able to secure this particular product for $50. Now the good thing about this is it tells you the size so you know what kind of box you will actually need to ship it and two it gives you the weight for it so you kind of can estimate how much it's going to cost you to ship this by yourself if you have to ship this to the storage facility on Amazon so let's say you, you got this item for 60 and this is the same amount of price you'll be using it over there the shipping for you 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 can charge whatever you want as shipping when you're yourself selling this particular product so I would actually be charging, let's say for example, uh, bucks would be the amount that I want to charge. Now after you do that, what you want to do is, there's also other fees that you can put into this and you, there's nothing here that I would actually fill because uh, there, it doesn't cost me anything to store this in my place. There is no cost for customer service, I provide this myself, um, all the handling, there's no cost for that either, so all of that is fine. Now inbound shipping is to ship this to uh, Amazon, you actually have to ship this particular item to Amazon itself. So the cost for you to ship this could be six, but when you are actually selling this on Amazon, you can charge shipping whatever you think is the appropriate amount for you to ship this. So there could be a big difference between how much it costs you to ship it versus the amount of money uh, that you will get asking the customer to ship this particular product. The reason it might be a lot more expensive over here than for you to ship it to that location is that you want to ensure every particular product that you sell that is over 50 just in case something happens in the process you ship it to them and it gets lost so now you're out of that money. So do you insure it or you ship it already insured using United States Post Office and uh, UPS or FedEx or whatever you're going to be using sometimes it's just better uh, to, to use it as such so we're just going to be using a different number probably more likely it's going to cost like 10 bucks so let's calculate and see what's going to happen here and now FBA it actually tells you FBA is actually less so you're going to make a lot more money shipping this particular product uh, by yourself here's the, the margin cost so you'll be making 64 bucks if you sell this by yourself on Amazon versus if you ship it to them this is going to cost you a lot more more money so you're shipping it not only you're shipping it to them um, at the same time you also have to pay all kinds of other interesting costs here if you're selling it as Amazon FBA this is something they don't tell you up here so we have the order handling which costs a dollar uh, pick and pack uh, another box so you're already losing automatically two now we also have the 30 day uh, storage fee which comes down to 30 cents which is going to be significant if you have a lot of small items that are being stored at Amazon itself so so that is going to cost you a lot of money because one item is maybe 30 cents is fine but if you have thousands of items 30 cents 
every 30 days this is going to rack up a substantial amount of fees so for for you if you have this particular item in your place instead and i'm just not just talking about the camera it could be anything for that matter you can save a substantial amount of money by actually shipping it yourself having your own cartons you're having your own boxes and everything else and you'll be making uh the difference between the price that you can have here which is 64 versus if you sell it on amazon itself which is 45 and you still be listing it in the same way so if i was going to do this i would calculate the the margin of every product i'll be selling and figure out which is better for me either selling it by myself on amazon or selling it fba just sending it to them and they store the item over there and then they ship it whenever it is getting sold but remember there was a storage fee uh picking and packing fee there was the order handling fee we are talking about you're not getting any amount of the difference between the shipping price and the amount the item actually costs to ship it so you're not getting paid for that as well so keep that in mind make sure you keep that in mind when you're going to be selling something amazon fba or not